Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and another episode of Momoto GP19 Mod Career Mode. Today we are here for yet another race, round number 8 I believe for the Dutch TT of Assen. If you guys missed episode 7 or round 7 for the Catalan GP at the Circuit de Barcelona, go check out the episode guys by clicking the card in the top right hand corner of the screen. We also put some upgrades on the bike so do check out the episode guys before coming back to this one. But today we are here for Assen, my favourite race on the entire calendar. And uh, fair, spoiler warning, fair, fair spoiler warning has now been given, if I can get my words out, and uh, we're going to look at the upgrades for this weekend. So, as you can see, we did um, engine and aero a few races ago, and all we've done in the last episode was the frame, the suspension, and the brakes, and a total of five upgrades for this race to try and improve, because we need to get some points back in the championship. In the last race, if you did not see it, it was a really bad race for us. We had contact with Dovi, and... Um, in the process, Dovi, well, we didn't have contact. Dovi and Marcus came together. Dovi went down and I went over his bike that fell down. And in the process, it gave my bike pretty much terminal damage. And we couldn't finish the race and I had to retire. So we scored a big fat zero in the last race. So I need to try and bounce back this weekend and score 25 points and take the win. No questions asked. So uh, let's see how it goes. And fingers crossed we can try and do a good job. First of all, we're going to tackle practice and we're going to do the practice programs. And then we shall see if we have a, a lap good enough for Q2 and then we'll get on to qualifying. So with that being said, let's jump into practice and let's try and get up to speed at Assen. Okay, so currently through FP1, the test has now been completed. So uh, we're going to now focus on setting a very strong lap time to get straight into Q2. So let's do that now. And let's see how much pace this KTM truly has. Oops. There we go, that should do the trick. That should be a good enough lap to uh, get SQ2 quite comfortably. And uh, I'm quite surprised how Marcus went down, to be honest with you. It was quite a soft tap, but still, job done, practice done. We should be comfortably out into the final part of qualifying. Right, here we are then, Q2 time at Assen. Beautiful sunny conditions here, and as expected, into the final part of qualifying. So. Let's try and get to work here and stick on pole once again. That's the order of the day. We was two seconds faster in practice, so it's looking pretty ominous, to be honest with you. And uh, let's try and make sure we make that prediction a reality. Let's jump into qualifying. A bit wide there, almost tucked the front. I was very lucky there for that left-hander. It's been a pretty okay opener, but um, a little bit scruffy in places. Definitely a lot of time to improve, but it's still going to be a very solid banker. To the chicane, a little bit of a corner cut there, a little bit messy, but again, we'll take it. We'll go for one more lap here and see if we can improve. One minute 30.1, that's okay. Oof. That was close again, very close. Into the chicane again, this time we didn't cut, nice and clean. We're gonna tap Dovi there a little bit, but across the line, 29.4. I reckon that will probably be enough for pole position already, to be honest. That was a pretty good lap, only a tenth off my practice lap, but still very competitive pace
on it. Oof. Risky, but we made it work. I thought I was going to go down there. What a sector that was. I found half a second, but uh, that was the risk I took. I almost hit the deck. A little bit wide again there, but this is going to be the lap, without a doubt. Beautifully done there at the final chicane. And that's the one. 28-6. Forget about it. It's game over. Qualifying secured. There we have it then. We take pole position comfortably here at Assen by pretty much two and a half seconds over Maverick Vinales. Rins in an impressive P3. Marquez P4. My championship rival Dovi P5. Expecting him to get a good start tomorrow in the race as always. Valentino Rossi P6. And then we've got Crutchlow, Zarco and Mir rounding out the top nine. But that is your grid. And we're now going to move into the race tomorrow for the Dutch TT of Assen. Let's jump into it. We are moving to the starting grid, while the cameras are showing us the riders concentrating before the start of the race. It's race time here for the Dutch Grand Prix. Let's jump into things. First of all, bike settings onto the tyres. I think I'm going to go for a soft medium here. I'm going to go a bit more aggressive. So uh, soft front, medium rear, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. We need the 25 points. I'm expecting Dobby to get a good start as always. Let's see if we can try and do a good start of our own and try and keep our lead or, you know, try and stay as hard as we can pretty much. It's a long race, 50% race, so we get lots of chances to come back through the field, but we need to be winning this race. It's time for the race. Let's jump into it. Just a few minutes to go until the Grand Prix begins. Assen, the motorbike university, is once again ready to put everyone to the test. Right, here we go. Clutch pulled, first gear selected. The five lights are on here at Assen. Lights out and away we go. Pretty good start, actually. Look at that. We're actually going to hold on to our lead, I think, for the first time ever. Into turn one. Yes, we do. Wow. We actually have a good start and hold on to our lead. I've never had that before. Didn't expect that either. Fantastic stuff. Really, really good start for the line. Now we've got to try and stay in front. The AI tend to be quite aggressive on lap one. They try and launch it down the inside. Got to be careful here. First of all, let's try and survive this tricky infield section. And then up to speed down to the back straight. Let's see who's behind us here. And it's Marquez in P2. So it wasn't even Dobby who got the whole shot off the line. It's Marquez who got the good start. Let's try and stay in front though, it's important to keep the keep the gap, hold the lead here in these opening stages. One overtake from someone behind could lead to literally everyone getting past, so it's important to not let no one get past and concede no track space or position. That's hot into there, gotta be careful, I'm gonna try and pull the pin though, and I'm up Marquez like he did in Cota, like he did in Jerez, and uh, also like he done in Mexico as well this season, sorry, uh, Argentina this season. We're going to try and do the same thing, so we're going to pull the pin early on here, try and run at a strong pace, qualifying pace in these early laps, and uh, really try and establish a gap here. The tyres are good, we've got aggressive tyres on, the soft medium is going to work for us, especially in the initial part of the Grand Prix here to try and open up a gap, so let's get to work here. Let's tackle the chicane first of all, and then we can start focusing now on lap times. The lap 1 draws to a close, and it's successful, and we've held on to our lead, which is fantastic. So here we go then. Let's see what Dovi is. He's P3 behind Mark Marquez, so there he is. If we can, if we can finish there, that'd be great, because that would bring me right back into contention for the championship. I mean, it would help me out massively. I think the gap's 30 points, so we're going to try and close that down. But anyway, let's get to work, and let's try and set the lap times. Straight onto the pace here, 29.5. Very, very good pace for race pace here. And we're getting the gap out as expected, setting the fast up of the Grand Prix. A few more of these, and we'll be comfortable. Looking very comfortable at the minute, running the high 1 minute 29s, and the gap is extending. Marcus is holding P2, and Dobby's actually down to P4 now. Vinales is P3, so this is good news for the championship. It's going to really help us out after the disaster in the last race, so I'm just kind of hoping that Dobby keeps on getting kind of overtaken and, you know, getting in battles, and uh, that allows Marcus to solidify P2, and also Vinales can hold on to P3. That'd be great if possible. I'm going to try and track the minimap here, and I can see Marcus has got a nice gap there, but Vinales is currently battling with Dobby, so... It looks like P2's pretty much guaranteed for Marquez, so it's about whether Dobby can get P3 or not and salvage a podium. 29-4, another fast lap of the Grand Prix. Still very easily can do this pace, and uh, the gap's looking good. Vignales P3 still, and Dobby now P4, so Vignales is holding on, which is good. 
as we pretty much approach half race distance here, things are looking very comfortable. And we're looking good to win this race. I'm just going to start pushing a little bit less now because there's no need for me to risk it anymore. I said I'd slow down, but I'm having too much fun and I just can't stop going. And then the fastest lap 29.2, I'm just getting faster and faster. I'm having so much fun. I just love this track so much. And um, it really suits my running style and I can really just push the limit here, to be honest. Really, really love this circuit so much. We're looking so comfortable out front. Oh man, into the 128s. <laughs> it's just getting ridiculous, man. Now I've properly slowed up. My last few laps have been a 1 minute 30.3. Properly left the place now. I'm just trying to bring it home. Also, my tires are starting to fade a little bit as well because I pushed so hard. So let's just cruise to the finish now. Here we go then. It's been a dominant performance here at an absolutely easy. And here we go through the chicane at the final corner. And we're going to come through to win the Dutch Grand Prix with a good old crash over the line. Absolutely love that. But there we go. Dominant win. Love it. What a performance. The bike was absolutely superb the whole weekend. I love this circuit. It's just one of my stronger ones. And uh, we respond in a big, big way after the tragedy in the last race. So we had to do that. And uh, we've done our job. Now let's have a look at the final race results. So there we have it then, and we won in dominant fashion. 20 seconds clear of Mark Marquez and 30 seconds clear of fifth place onwards. The good news is Dovi only got P4. Vignales held on to the podium, which is great. So as you can see, there are your top nine with Zarco getting in eighth place there for the KTM. And then we've got Crutchlow running off the top 10. And then Rins, Yanone, Miller, Quattararo and Espargaro running off the point scorers. And then Bagnaya, Rabat, Sirin, Oliveira, Nekagami, Espargaro, Morbidelli and Abram missing out on the points. And in terms of what that means for the Riders' Championship, we cut down Dovi's deficit down to 20 points. And we extend our lead over Marquez to 12 points. So that's good news there. And uh, Vinales and Marquez actually switched places. So all in all, a decent day's work. And in terms of what that's going to mean for the Constructors Championship, as you can see, we uh, closed the gap once again to Ducati, and we are now just 10 points behind, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, Zarco doing a good job there as well for helping me out in that one. But in terms of the Team Championship, the Yamaha still lead the way, and it's Vignales and Rossi pulling the weight, sharing the load between them, and Ducati now six points behind. The good news is we extend our gap to Suzuki a little bit, so we're more comfortable now in P4, but we are still quite a way away from Repsol Honda. And it's going to be quite hard to beat them, to be honest, considering uh, Sirene or Oliveira are rarely scoring any points. So, uh, yeah, all things considered, a decent race. KTM there, the works team, P6, doing a really good job there. Zarco and Espargo are bringing home some consistent, solid points. And all in all, a very, very good day here today at the Dutch TT in Assen. If you guys did enjoy the episode, please do drop a like. And also subscribe if you are new for daily Formula 1 and also MotoGP content. Turn on notifications to not miss a video from me. And finally, check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one very soon but until then it's goodbye from me